Hey, Red Edition, welcome. Happy day. I got a guy with me from a long ways away. Vit, pronounce your last name, please. Italy, Japan. Okay, and you're calling from Liberland. I was going to say Europe. I'm not sure how to say that. Tell me, where are you? Actually, I'm calling you from the Embassy of Liberland in Prague right now. And that's our operational stage where we are doing all the important diplomatic work from now. You know, so this is this is the place where, where we started the whole thing, and uh, we are going to move to Liberland uh, probably on 1st of May. That will be the first day. Just for all of our viewers, I'm in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada right now, and you're, you know, the power of Skype, the power of the internet, we're thousands of miles away. Here it's about 9 a.m. Tuesday, April 21. What time is it there, and what day is it? We've got almost 6 o'clock uh, here in, in Central European time. Uh, 6 p.m.? Yeah. Oh, okay, so we're kind of not too far off at any event. Now, so you have created a new country. There, there was a, a, an open area between Serbia, is it, and Croatia, and, and it's yeah. about four square miles. Is that more or less right? Yes, that's exactly right. Okay, good. <laughs> and and uh, nobody had claimed it, and you said now it's an independent country, and it's called Liberland, and Liber kind of goes with liberty, I'm guessing, because it's live and let live is your motto, which, by the way, I really like, because I'm right wing of John Wayne, and, and the world has become complex and complicated, and is that why you're doing what you're doing, because of a complicated world? Well, I don't want to say, I wouldn't call it the complicated, I would... Uh, call it overregulated and overtaxed. That's the, the main issue why we set it up. Yeah. And, you know, and it's going, it's worse every single day with the European Union and also with other national politicians. So we were we felt really motivated that we need another tax haven, something like Liechtenstein, Hong Kong, or Monaco to exist in Europe nowadays. Yeah. And all of those regulations, of course, to me, equals complication. But I get it. We're saying the same thing different ways. So, it, it, uh, Sorry, well, sir. I didn't block my phone. Oh, your phone's ringing. Well, you're busy. I understand that you've had a lot of applications for citizenship. How many? No, we're 260,000 now. So <laughs> Too much. <laughs> You wouldn't believe how many emails are we getting every single minute. We have three staff trying to handle the incoming communication uh, just to sort the in the different folders, but we are still unable to handle it after five days. You know, and we are still rising. <laughs> the, the interest in the page and in the citizenship is still rising exponentially. So uh, that's, that's I, incredible. That's wonderful news. I mean, 260,000. I mean, how are you going to process all of this stuff? I mean, you need a big staff. You need infrastructure. Like, you've got a lot of growing to do. Yeah, that's actually the most important thing, you know, to have a state-of-art application process for the citizenship. But for now, it's pretty easy for us to pick up the citizens that we want. Those are the people that stay close to us that really do make this work, you know, that are in the diplomatic field and fighting for us. That, are the investors, the healer investors, that are the lawyers that help us set up this country. Those are definitely our first citizens. And you are a real country now. Liberland is a real country. Well, according to international and according to all major news agencies in the world, we are a real country. Well, we, are under, we, we are recognized by Northern Sudan, yeah. but uh, th you know that that's not enough for the recognition but we don't care you know according to international law you don't need to get recognized to be a country i asked a gal in my office yesterday to google earth liberland and she said it, it won't be there because they're only a couple of days old and i said try it and it is there it says it's it, there yeah yeah you you when you make it there you got it made so your front <laughs> Yeah, front and center. The is that we have open maps, you know, we already have an open map, street maps open with you, or how is it called, you know, there is, it's already there. You have the full <laughs> borders on both sides and Liberland is in, in between. It's really, really nice. It's the, you know, yeah. street views, I think, or open maps, something like that. And they already have everything done, you know. Well, I've it's actually... Great. I, we got recognized, not only by the media, but also by Google and by these other, other map systems that really like it. Yeah, my wife and I were over there in that part of the world probably 20 years ago, and we were in a tour bus, and, and uh, I think I saw your country because there was tanks kind of parked on each side uh, of it. It was kind of an interesting time, but <clears throat> so I'm glad you're doing what you're doing, just a little bit of nostalgia there. So tell me about what you're going to do with regard to your infrastructure. Are you going to have banks and things like that, or what kind of businesses will, will there be there? 
We have incredible amount of businesses. Out of those <coughs> 260,000 applications, you yeah. can expect that uh, probably 2,000 or 5,000 are larger companies or yeah. their CEOs that really want to move there. Uh, I feel like, you know, like a li little bit like in Atlas Tract, that <laughs> I'm taking all these bright people out of this uh, tax health and, and moving them to this place. Uh, so it's quite, quite <laughs> crazy time and uh, crazy time, you know, but a fun time. You get a chance now to make a mark and make a statement. You and I have talked previous to this <clears throat> on the phone and emails and so on about the stock markets in the world. They're complicated. Fill out this form and have a meeting to decide when the next meeting is. And you need to have a free enterprise brand new model, an open friendly model for a stock market. And I'm going to be one in your country. Is that okay? That's super. I love the idea. <laughs> We've talked about that. And just for all of you viewers, that's exactly what's going to go on. I'm going to own one of the stock exchanges and it's going to be user friendly. Kind of back to the days when you didn't have to, you know, fill out all those stupid forms. In any event, it's going to be a fun time in your country. I'm looking forward to coming over and seeing you. And I wish you all the best. And your, your plate is very, very full. Imagine if it's 260,000 applicants now, it's going to be a lot more than that this time next week. And uh, good luck with all the It's actually, it has raised like by 3,000 by the time we talk now. So. Yeah, as we finish our talk, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so have you got a cabinet in place? Like you, you were elected president, is that right? Yes, yes. You can see the election, even the Reuters, for example, showed it, how I was elected. Yeah. Um, they, they took the material and they posted it online. So uh, my election is, is online with the Reuters right now. But uh, you know what we are planning right now is the constitution and we really want to limit the government as you know, massively as possible. It will be almost like government in prison already. You know? <laughs> Most governments should be in prison anyway. Is that right? Well, that's really good. So, so you're looking like you're the capitalist model, like no interference and do what you do, but just don't hurt your neighbors. Is that the kind of thing? Like live and let live. Again, that's, that's your yes, verbiage. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And we really decided to set a good standard for minarchy state, you know, yeah. where the constitution is really strictly limited, where the state cannot do any budget deficit, where there will be no taxation, no no taxation whatsoever in the first state, only voluntary taxes. Yeah. You know, imagine, <laughs> imagine that we will all will only fundraise for everything we do. And I, I have no doubt that we will have a lot of money for anything we do, but it will be voluntary. It will not be forced. I'm one of your biggest supporters because, again, as I said earlier, I'm right wing of John Wayne and freedom. That's what it's all about. And you're bringing that to a country. You're doing it as we speak. Liberland, it's a great name, great concept. And I'm going to own a stock exchange there, and the world's going to be a benefactor of that. And I just can't wait. We'll see you sooner than later, and just keep it happening, will you? All right, all right. Thanks for the support, and I hope to see you soon. Okay, see ya.